Hello, nurse, and we are back. Here we go. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some new pieces, stuff that I'm not even that used to, actually, from LRM's mod, Red Power, which has gotten a little too huge. As you can see, I cleared out that big tutorial sandstone thing. I found a very nice recipe that I'll try to remember to show you at the end of this. I've started making my little modular workshops. The way I like to build at least when I'm doing stuff with Technic Pack, is you make rooms about this big, you know, a couple of windows so you can see when you're coming out if you're going to get creepered or anything. And uh, you just keep making those connected to each other by hallways. That way you can keep stuff organized and set up. Uh, I remember I showed you solar panels last time. This is the design that I usually use. It's hard on a forum once. I don't even remember who invented it, but it's smart. Um, for getting 13 solar cells connected to a bat box. I'll show you what it looks like inside now, too. As you can see, I reset all those machines that I had out there for the tutorial and put them into a nice little work area right there. So I made some more bat boxes. You can see each one of these bat boxes is connected with wire. There's also a piece of wire on top of the bat box to make this little solar flower. And so that charges up the bat box. Power is coming out here. We get a nice little power chain of bat boxes so that, you know, I have a lot of extra juice held up for the machines. I remember I was going to tell you guys how to play with um, the induction furnace to get it extra heat. What you do is you put either a redstone torch near it or you put a lever right on top of it like I have. Or you can actually put the lever on the side, I believe, as well. But as long as there's a redstone signal going in, it will build up heat and it will run a lot faster at full heat. Just close the door. To. As you can see, I've got this place lit with torches right now. I'm not a really big fan of torches. It actually looks like it's raining outside, but hey, that's why I'm in the desert, so I don't got to deal with that crap. Um, as you can see, I put some nice windows up for, to let the sun in. I'm getting some graphics flicker. I'm not sure what that is. That started with uh, this version of Technic Pack. And I can't seem to get rid of it. I can't pin down what mod's doing it either. Uh, anyway, I have these holes in the ceiling, and you can see... I'm using torches for light, but, you know, torches, kind of old school. I mean, we're playing with electricity, we got solar power. Let's go for something a little bit more fancy. And I don't know any better way to show off fancy than with red power. And another smaller mod, um, the wireless redstone mod. But uh, let's start this piece by piece. As you can see, there's no crafting table in here. Never going to need one of those again. Long as I've got my philosopher's stone to play with. Uh, that recipe there, pretty much you make a box with a uh, space in the middle out of brick, you get the alloy furnace, which is part of red power. Um, oh, I don't have no coal. How am I going to fix this? I don't know how. I dumped all my stuff into a chest just so that I'd have a nice clean inventory for you guys. But look, I've got all that coal to play with. And we'll dump that into the furnace. Wish I could power that with electricity, but there's no intercompatibility between those two mods. Now, the way the uh, alloy furnace works is... Uh, well, this is a basic recipe. One iron ingot and four redstone will make a red alloy ingot. Now, as you notice, it actually took all four redstone even though they're stacked, which I think is pretty damn useful. We're going to let these guys cook. You need three of those to make what we're going to make in a second. But let's get working on the next piece of the recipe. As you can see, I've got some bone meal here and some glowstone and some glass. If you don't know, using the Philosopher's Stone, you can do this handy recipe. Oh, how is it? There we go. And that'll make you two glowstone out of eight redstone. So you don't got to go to the nether to do this. Once you have a philosopher's stone, which I showed you how to make with gold dust in the last episode, you can make this gl the uh, as much glowstone as you're going to need. You can, and since uh, coal and redstone are intercompatible, you can uh, also use coal to make glowstone. Coal's actually more uh, useful, has more energy value than redstone. Anyway. This is a basic recipe. You take some kind of a dye. You need two of that. You need one glowstone and one redstone, and that will make you lumar. You can make it in any color that you have dye for. I'm just using white because it's easy, and I've been killing a lot of skeletons. 
Once you have the Lumar, you place it like this with redstone below it, and you put glass around it like so. There we go. We have eight white lamps. I'm going to be placing these in the ceiling next to that horrible flicker. I really do have to figure out what's causing that. And one right here. Now, there's a lot of ways we could get a redstone signal to that, but I wanted to do something even more fancy, which is why I had these guys set out for us. This is actually two more recipes. Um, they're their own little mini mod that's part of the uh, Technic Pack. That's an odd recipe. Oh, I've heard of that. I'll talk about that later. Not a good time to get distracted. If you put this recipe with redstone and iron around it and a redstone torch in the middle, you get a wireless transmitter. If you do the same recipe only with a lever in the middle, you get a wireless receiver. I'm going to steal this lever. I didn't get myself one. Now, we're going to be real lazy about this for now. We're going to put down the transmitter here. We're going to... Now, if you right-click it, you get this um, menu. Um, just to be off of z uh, zero frequency, we'll go on channel 5. You have to hit escape to get out of this. Uh, let's see. There we go. That works. Anytime that I power this, this puts out a redstone signal on channel 5. And this will go to any redstone receiver set to channel 5. And then those will output redstone as well. Now, I should have put my, given myself a ladder, but we'll just parkour our way up onto the roof. Oh, well, no, I'm missing something. I got ahead of myself. We had that alloy furnace cooking. And now we have 12 alloy ingots. Now, three pieces of red alloy ingots stacked together give us this redstone alloy wire, which I'll have to look up exactly how far it goes, but I think, and I'm definitely stressing that I think this, it carries a uh, redstone current 60 spaces, which is a lot more than we're going to need right now. Um, if I was being more fancy, I'd hide this somehow. Did I really do that? I screwed up my pattern. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'll fix that later. For now, I'm just going to wire this up. As you can see, it, um, it lays right on bricks. Another interesting feature of it is that it will go around corners and will go on walls. It's very useful in that way, and it's definitely the main reason why I keep red power. Red power has gotten kind of, I think, bloated lately. But it's got some interesting stuff to it. Uh, I could have given it a nice pattern if I had these set out right, but no, I had to do this. There we go. At least they're all wired up now. And, oh. This is embarrassing. I'm almost tempted to restart because I've been screwing up a lot. I didn't set the channel on this receiver. Ah, well. Now that we've got that set up, we can go inside. And for full effect, I'm going to make it nighttime. Oh, right. When you do this, uh... For some reason, that really screws with fraps. But we can kind of cheat our way into it. Hope it's not destroying the video quality doing this. Come on, a little bit more. And we've got nighttime. And we're going to knock out all the torches here. Oh, look how dark and spooky it is in here. Okay, not really. I've got my brightness turned up way too high. But we'll deal. Now we turn on the switch. The redstone transmits. And we have wonderful, pretty lights in the sky. Um... No matter what color of dye you use for these, it just changes the color of the brick. It doesn't change the color of the light. Apparently, the current lighting code for Minecraft doesn't have anything in it for colored light. And the guy who made this 
really didn't want to go through the effort of rewriting the entire lighting code just so that we could have disco rave parties. I think it'd be worth it, but that's just me. I don't know how to program the light code. If I did, disco rave party lights would definitely be number one or two on the agenda. Um, there we go. This is a pretty short tutorial today. Just, uh, you know, get showing you guys some progress. I've got my workshop set up, so I'm definitely going to be able to make a lot more, a lot more quickly than I would in a vanilla game because of these machines right here. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have fun in the Technic Pack. Goodbye.